Welcome. Yate. We are Day of Pentecost Incorporated. We're located in Nucum, New Mexico, and we present to you the Word of God straight from the Bible. And the Bible that we mostly read out of is the King James Version. We believe that the, the older of the translation is the better of the Bible. The newer translations have different wordings which change the meaning of what the Bible says. So we read the Bible out of King James Version. And we preach Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus baptizes in the Holy Spirit, and Jesus is coming again soon. So God bless. Somewhere in North Korea, 
God loves you. Amen. Or anywhere in the world. Today, we'll speak about Romans again. We've been saying a lot about the book of Romans. And, uh, the book of Romans, there's a lot of teachings. Teachings so great, so marvelous. And you just can't exhaust what the Lord God has to say out of the book of Romans. But what did I hear? I know it's not in Sagwe, so I didn't get to cut corner reservation. I don't have to see cities somewhere. Did the video, but then tell me. But yeah, when you start to listen, North will just go. Same with how they don't let you put niche in your home. Hey, I'm getting eighteen. That's the point. Even yeah, he found that. I get it or teens. Even yeah, we're not wasting time getting old talking. What all are they teeth or 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 kilebe in the nether? Nisazini lahti illa. Hey, the ye hard old ye. Nisazini ye hard old ye. Even ye. Nisazini ye bas hard old ye. Even ye. Ekro ya delti. But he the to sabajul ne the the book of Romans. Romans says ani bige to. Ovaz ye nolan. Ovaz on the journal about that. But when the it's not the easy sipa da is ne Romans chapter six. Romans chapter 7, Romans chapter 8. Okay, I see. Great ego, Jesus. Be still God. Great ego, now that all cheese. To Aya has a door. Great ego, Chedigini. A car, not the water. Well, Kadigay, Romans chapter 8. Start off with verse 3, not only. Romans, say, be a raw sasha jagger, tato, tasasha jado. I go, Eddie, there. Romans chapter 8, eh, yeah. Uh, the heading, the heading, and it's in verse 2. Verse 2 says, for the law, that's God's law. It's not talking about the, any law in church or, or the law we manufacture or not even the law of Moses. It says, for the law, it's just like the law of gravity, okay? The law of retribution. There is a law of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. That he's the subject in this chapter. Holy Spirit, the mighty Holy Spirit. Amen. That he's the subject. Chapter eight, Romans. For the law of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of life, he has a law. He did, he will never overstep that law. He has a law of life, it says, in Christ Jesus, has made me free, has made me free, has made you free, has made us free, has made me free from the law of sin and death. There is that sin and death that's our problem. That's the world's problem, sin and death. Sin comes and then death comes. The wages of sin is death. Sin, you've got to take care of that rascal. And that's the, what the Holy Spirit does for us. Romans chapter 8. Verse 2. Ebe bez ani wallona bez ani ego ape bez ani ah dego khaida blas la bez church bez ani da Moses be bez ani da nich edigen be bez ani ne o e be bez ani du tiste dol khasta khade ta sada yes ani ge akhad enazish yes ani ge Jesus Christ, I tell you, I give a quiet That's his law. 
you will never, never ever step outside of the parameters of the cross. The parameters where the blood of Jesus was shed. No, never ever. He has a law. He doesn't overstep his law. Do we kiss the door? Cut our bands on. Jesus Christ with this, this go got again. A quenash, the shah. So the quen and chitting in in all this so. Hallelujah. We get anything we call Holy Spirit somewhere by the preacher's laying on of hand or or uh, uh, some way away from the cross. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's a liar. It pretends to be the Holy Spirit. It pretends to speak out of tongues. It pretends to prophesy, but it is not the Holy Spirit. It's a lie. So, the Holy Spirit of the Bible, the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Bible, the Holy Spirit of the Bible, He only works in the parameters of the cross. The blood of Jesus, the cross, so that Jesus, but the day is going well, but not taking a long quen and Nazanus. Oh, the Edo Nazanus, I go, oh, you, Sabi, I did care, and she did any share, oh, no, no, I go crossing the barrios. Jesus, but there's under no way, so does the Zen. Do you get it? Come on. Get your heart awake. Preachers, get your heart awake. Our problem is sin. And then we get to the pulpit in front of people. We have a load of sin on us that makes us blind. You need to wake up. Spiritual muscle. I'm the champion. No, no, no. The Italian pulpit. Yeah, that's no place for me calling yourself the champion. You ain't got no business saying that. You ain't got no business have that attitude. Pride is of the devil. So you need to get rid of pride. Pride in love, the house card. H eighty began and H eighty been on the shit that that's how he fell. H eighty and not Christianity yeah, but the non Christolish, but the hearts of Tlebe, the hearts in bunch of what is in Chaka God, points me, God was our points me every against Chaka the Nebbe, but wasn't the unhigged or the not that or the heart is a yet or the. So, there it is, this the heaven for this chapter. The Holy Spirit has a law, okay? Always remember that that makes us free from our sin problem, sin troubles. After we understand chapter 6, now we go to chapter 8. What that? As long as we understand chapter 6, then we're, we're better off believing and understanding what chapter 8 says. What is chapter 6? is the tongue. I see chapter 8. What the, the Holy Spirit does to help the believer Live a sanctified life. Amen. That's what the story is, right there, chapter eight. Ha e el chidigini, ha is e do let's go. O tlanjeni go ha ka na lugo. Ako tigen ko ginado sanctified life. But do I hear what I hear? Self righteous holiness e do asat nida. Ya asteko. 
Jesus blood sacrifice for life as a ne and he did you know that you know need that that's not holiness that's devil devilish Jesus blood is a whole only a clean all this Jesus but this a clean all a all your sanctification Jesus but this he has gives go so a a whole Another way to explain it is it is dynamics of the Holy Spirit. What what he says in chapter eight. So that I Okay? Again, let's say it again. The subject in this chapter is not the forgiveness of sins. That's in chapter six or justification from sins, that's in chapter 6, but rather liberation from power of sin in order to live a life of sanctification. The justification will Here's the power. That's where people miss it. And then they see. They preach only as far as salvation. And then they close the book. They stop right there. We are saved, yes. The blood of Jesus saved us, yes. The blood of Jesus gave us the power to break the sin nature's power, yes. But what about you living as a Christian from day to day to day to day living? What about it? This is why the preachers have to explain the new convert that comes to Christ, they got to instruct the, the new convert to live by the Bible, to live according to the Bible, to live according to what God says in the Bible. Amen. Jesus, but the secret of Tlango, what are so they are constant, so they're sergeant, so they're sergeant, so they're sergeant, Nesh Ka, and Ah, Ah, Nanesh Ka, and Ah, Ah, Nanesh Ka, or Tlanig, or Stink, or Lady, did all about the Hutchins, and the Hutchins, and the Lini. It's the same way we come to Jesus. Salvation part, same way. Same way you start to live. Day number two, day number three, day four, and on and on, day after day after day, to the end of your life. Always look into Jesus and to his blood. That's why you miss it. To his blood, to his blood, to his blood, to his blood. How many times can we, you hear it? To his blood. Day to day to day to day to his blood. You look to his blood. You look to Jesus and to his blood. You look to Jesus and to his blood. That way you don't struggle with sin. That way the devil doesn't overtake you. That way you don't have a problem with sin. Sin is put down and made ineffective. So it's no big deal for you. You don't fight it. You don't struggle with it. Jesus, but 
Jesus blood in Ukraine, Drago, Ebe Tosnans and no Ebe, Garba, which in Nico, Ep Aquichiba, Hastens and Go, what Ebe to Gasha, so that Aguit of Gasha was his chunk with all Lithi and Chedigini, Ep was one long foot out, Hala quit in and listen to Jesus, but that is by an ex Chedigini, and then again, Bible yards, Nagi, Equenas Nish. And the Janako, none as Nesco, a quack at the Nutley, buying it every at the Nutley, buying it at over the Hikara, she did over the Hikara, she did on at the Tleda, she did make it an unleader. Jesus blood at every Nerota, not you, not your works, not what you have done, not your performance. It's the blood of Jesus. He with his blood, Jesus, he's the one. With his blood, he defeated the devil long ago. So just put your faith there. Just plant yourself there. Jesus, but there is going a Okay, that's introduction. <laughs> Start with verse 3. <laughs> For the law could not do for what the law could not do yet, in that it was weak through the flesh. Again, we remind you, we're reading King James Version. <clears throat> and the older the Bible translation is, the better for you. The new ones, ah, you can't trust it. The older, like King James, maybe some other older translation that's better for you. For what the law could not do, <clears throat> that's Moses' law or our own law. We like to manufacture laws, huh? Or you don't want to admit it, but you do. She would anna shara, she would asit sketo, she would as idi getin shlero. That's a law. It won't work for you. <laughs> Just trash it. Trash your own laws. Amen. The law of Moses was God's law. It's holy. But it only exposes who we are. Children of Adam. Some nature. It shows us how filthy sinners we are. But does not have a power to save us, Moses' law, but then. Eh, oh Jesus, he chased his name, Jesus, Niago, as so he can wash in a ha, as so fulfill a yilla. Now we look to Jesus. We don't look to the law of Moses. Nana Kuchista lost all Nahi Yukat, 21st century Kutuvogase, denominational laws, those eat Eda, church laws, those eat Eda, preachers' law, those eat Eda, Eda, Kalatsinta and Nil. What are his thoughts? What are his thoughts? Put a shackle on your hands, on your feet. A law, man-made, man-manufactured law. Those eat era. I go go to go na bez ane na shidun zaya na vas hashile. The net over the night law. Amen. Last night over the night law. Over that scene, the cat scene that the ane na va na na. What do we need? You look to Jesus. He. He uh, fulfilled all the laws of God. He died on the cross, suffered greatly, 
tremendously. Then he was put in the tomb. And then on the third day, he rose from the dead. That resurrection signifies he did no sin. He did no sin whatsoever. So he rose from the dead because the scripture in Romans says, for the wages of sin is death. Remember Jesus worked as one of us. As one of us. He was weak in the flesh as us. He put his deity aside, even though he's everlasting God. He put that aside and he made himself a right equivalent with the first Adam that sinned. As one of us. He worked as one of us. But he did no sin whatsoever. So that's the reason he rose from the dead. He defeated death. Because the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. If Jesus committed even one sin, he would have never rose from the dead. That would have been a failure. That would have been hell for us. But he defeated death. He defeated Satan. He defeated the grave by his sinless life. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. That's where the Holy Spirit is, what you're hearing. <laughs> but the law, for what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh. It's a God is different, you're different from God. You have a sin nature. You'll be, be a liar like your uncle, the devil. <laughs> you have a sin nature until the rapture. Rapture, you're going to be changed. That is, if you're blood bought. You accepted the blood of Jesus, that is. Amen. You don't shun the blood of Jesus. Amen. You pray with the blood of Jesus every day. Hallelujah. Every time you pray from here, you open your mouth and use the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Like the old time, way back in the Holy of Holies, the priest has to take the blood in there, to walk in there, and then offer the prayer to God. You do the same. The blood of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus, sanctify us. Through the blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost, come. Through the blood of Jesus, let there be healings. Through the blood of Jesus, let there be mighty work of God accomplished. Through the blood of Jesus, that's the way the preacher is supposed to talk. That's the way the preacher is supposed to pray, not shun it aside. Not shun the cross aside, not the shared blood be put away and think that you're somebody, that you are holy. You did a 21 day fast. Babylonian, you go to Jesus, you depend on Jesus, you put your trust in Jesus, you put your trust in His work. You put your trust in his blood. Give it all to Jesus. Give it all to Jesus. Step out of the way. Your stinking way. Step out. Step out of the way. Let Jesus do the work from behind, behind the pulpit. I hope you heard it. You step out of the way, let God do the work. You just be the vessel, unworthy vessel, unworthy clay that God can use. Make sure you're sanctified, that way God will use you. You're filthy, God ain't going to use you. With his blood, be sanctified. Remember that. Just ask for the blood to cover you. Just ask for the blood to come into you. Then you are sanctified. So simple. So simple. 
So what happened there? The flesh is weak. Our own doing is weak. Even though we uh, load down the scriptures with other scriptures, even though we load up ourselves with scriptures, oh, he's Alpha and Omega, oh, he can do all this, I can do all this through God, you. Good saint. <laughs> Let Jesus do the work. Amen. Get out of the way. You be the clean up blood bought vessel. Stubbornness is hard, huh? Amen. Your stubborn heart. <laughs> Stubbornness is hard. It takes the blood of Jesus to get to get that stubbornness out. Amen. Amen. The Lord. Your own struggle, your own fasting, day after day, till you are so skinny they pull you out through the keyhole. It ain't gonna work. Hallelujah. Why try to work when Jesus already done the work? Why? 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 What? Stepping out of the picture. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? 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 Let Jesus do the work. Amen. You just be the yes sir man. Yes sir. Oh, this. Oh, 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 I don't need quite to heal together. You have a sun nature, don't you know? God is pure and holy, and you have a sun nature in you. He says, God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, condemn. Actually, he's saying he condemned sin in the flesh. Huh. <laughs> what does it? It's so simple. Did a shock where that which he did, he'll tell her. Blush like Basan Zini. Pastor, preacher, evangelist, whatever your title is. That which he did, he'll tell her. Hunt Jesus, Gunazanish. Jesus blood and cow on it. Ned or Tadikis. Ned or Jesus, but this way Tadikis a clean gun. Don't clean where I got what you need or edge any wassons. I judge any the lean as a boy doing God and then the youth eat on. Jesus blood clean and all that would die. Jesus blood never know edge any in us. I'm late of one ago. Jesus' blood need the night in it on a custom, in other war, any you don't be in God, need of your chito, not only your chito. Did there, there's any dog with Zilla, it's East Beyond, and Moses, there's any law, and fishing, there's under the bears, any in the New York chicle. Die hat anderen noch in Schnarre, und steht oder noch, haben sie ein Aschar noch getragen, Aschar, der Mohle, und noch die Mohle, hat sich nicht so leicht, wenn die Bärse an, ja, da wird er hund, ja, da wird er schön, ja, da wird sie da, dann kann man immer zu Ed, oh, und ich hatte auch noch nicht gelegt, Moses war da, Moses war da, oh, und ich hatte auch noch nicht gelegt, du bist dann hier da, und ich da, du bist dann da, und ich da, God his own son says and then he looks like one of us there you go sinful flesh we are the sinful flesh <laughs> don't put up excuse don't kick up some dirt we are sinful flesh. 
because that nature is still in us. You pick on a preacher, what's he going to do? You're not going to pick on him too long, he's going to get angry. That's, that's sin. He might have fasted 21 days, but he's going to get angry. You pick on him. Am I picking on you? <laughs> Sinful flesh. That's us. It's not God. It's us. We poor, poor mortals. That's us. God sent his own son. Jesus became like us. He looked like us, the sinful ones. <laughs> he was born a little babe. As like us sinful ones. And then he came for sin, it says. And then what he did, he condemned sin, the sin nature, in the flesh. In that flesh that looked like sin, sin sinner's flesh, Jesus. As I did so that's where your trust is supposed to be at. Jesus condemned, he condemned the sin in the flesh, in his flesh. <laughs> in his flesh, the one that looked like you, Amen. the sinful ones, okay? So sin is a problem. Amen. That's it. Sin is our problem. That's a, give us a big world mess. <laughs> Sin is our problem. Okay, let's compare scripture with this. <clears throat> Colossians 3, show. Go to Colossians. Keep the page there. Colossians chapter 3, 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, sink those things which are above. He says, there's a condition. If you say, if you think, you are risen with Christ, if you think Christ is in you and you are in Christ, if you be risen, if you think you be risen with Christ, he said, sink those things which are above. Not something earthly. Yeah. Above. Above. Where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. If the Bible says so, well, just believe it the way it's written. Yeah. Verse 3, Romans 8. Colossians there's a condition we'll get if Christ not you you be risen with Christ. New life. If you then be risen of Christ, take off at that age, age can turn. Add Christ, God, and the snazzle with the sutta, nishna. Now, what did you back on is what did you know in na? Aya has na. Verse 2 set your affection on things above. 
Tai si kota kota eg a yo in ne ne. Not on things of the earth, not on sabakaidi. Put no affection on the things of the earth, that's what it means. The earth, the world is no good. <laughs> Set your affection. See, there's that scripture with that prophecy. It backs it up right there. Set your affection on things above. Above. <laughs> Direct your mind to things above. Not worldliness, not things of the earth. Everything here is temporary. Our help comes from above. What that hell ain't can now work. Dina Sava Kai on Zaji that that or things. And then he says, For you are dead. Romans chapter 6, verses 3 and 5. How to be born again? You were born again. No, we were born again with the death of Christ. That's what it means. For you are dead, dead to the old lifestyle. You don't do your old lifestyle no more. You're dead to it, and your life is hid with Christ in God. God be your own. Christ. Christ be your own. Christ beyond this. It is all done by what Jesus did at the hill of Golgotha. When Christ, who is our life, there it is. He's the life. We have the life. We were, we were in darkness. We had no life. He translated us into light and into life. Therefore, we have life. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, shall appear, the rapture of the church shall appear. Then shall you also appear with him in glory. Every saint at that time, at the rapture, will be given a glorified body. You will look like Jesus. With that, verse 1, na -na, risen with Christ, glorified body. Uh, you appear in glory, it says. Jesus, 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 The law doesn't give you such, huh? No, sir. Whatever law that is, including yours. Nana <laughs> shall compare scripture. That same verse, verse 3. Hebrews 8. Hebrews 8. Hebrews 8, verse 7. For if that first covenant has been faultless law, talking about the law, then should no place have been sought for the second covenant. Haladi, <laughs> the first testament, the old covenant, the old testament, if it was faultless, so that I you by her Lord on that then on that it would have been good, huh? That would have been salvation there, huh? We would have been glorified there under the old covenant, huh? But it's not there. The law just exposes us sinners as bad ones. <laughs> For finding fault with them, the law finding fault with the, the old time church. The Israelites, he said, Jeremiah 31, 31, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant, talking about Jesus, talking about New Testament, talking about the cross, talking about grace. <laughs> I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, 
and the Gentiles like you. Gentiles. I want to know how to get on the best honey. It's a hand, it's a shot at Anna. Ne Jeremiah, Tatino, Asha, or Tatino, Asha, such a giant. Quit head all this. Paid off cash only in a needy shot at Israel, or country, and or Judah, the Ne, or country, a destination. Ne, I want that Israel rejected Christ. So, the, 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 the torch is given to the Gentile. The preaching of the cross, the preaching of the gospel is given to the Gentiles. The Jews lost it temporarily until Jesus comes with that. Jesus no not zaje koenda biyanje ka. Jesus no does ni zingo oho gade ta. Kade Gentile aje da hoiz ni. Okay. No, that's not. What you saw? It's not in the city anymore. John 7 38. Backward. Not on. John 7 38. He says, he who, Jesus is talking right there, he who believes on me, as the scripture, as the Bible has said, out of his belly, in the most being, shall flow. What? What's going to flow? Rivers. It says, plural. It says, rivers. 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 Of living. Living. Living, living water. Speaking about the Holy Ghost, says the next verse. Amen. That's what you need, folks. Hallelujah. Okay? To receive the real, the genuine, the real person, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> to receive Him, there's always, it's always, the baptism is always predicated by the death of Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus died, the Holy Ghost came. Amen. Jesus died, the Holy Ghost came. Jesus rose from the dead 50 days later, which means Pentecost. Hallelujah. 50 days, 50th, 50th. Slept in no Pentecost, but again, the old time language. When you say Pentecost, you're talking about 50. Jesus rose from the dead. Slept in his car. Jesus not yet now. Quiet. Should he get any one? Let should he get any hot Amen. Praise the Lord. So, do you eat that? Should he get it on in our old Yeshko? Jesus, it said us, Sunday get echo. Jesus blood, it said the hands in Jesus blood, Jesus with the system in now. Jesus with the system in the kiss. Jesus with the clean up. The sin. Why it and Katala? Why it and Choya? Han Ede, Naila Tsini, on Nesco. I go, clean out inside of you. Clean out your spirit. The blood of Jesus. Clean out your spirit. And then there's room for the Holy Ghost in filling. When you say Holy Ghost, don't startle you. Don't let it startle you. Holy Ghost? Yeah. <laughs> well, blame it on King James. He wrote it like that. Holy Ghost. <laughs> but in those days, the days of King James, way back in the 1500s, when you say Holy Ghost, you're talking about Holy Spirit. <laughs> so change, interchange is interchangeable. You say Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost? Or Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit? You're talking about the same person, okay? not all Holy Ghost, not all Jesus, we receive the Holy Spirit. And that baptism we get is predicated by the death of Christ. 
Jesus, the Son of Elsa, Elsa Bahana. Christ was crucified, Elsa Bahana. He died on the cross. He was buried in the tomb. He rose from the dead the third day. And then you that were backslidden, you were apostated. It's good for you to learn, huh? You that was lost, you that call yourself on Pentecostal. And you were lost, you were apostated, you were deceived by some devils, and you, that devil's working out of you, and you call it God, you call it Jesus, you call it Holy Ghost, and then he ain't. You better wake up too, put the blood of Jesus in you, and gradual process, gradually you get to the right, back to the right faith. You had crooked faith, slant it, Downward direction. When you put the blood of Jesus in you, you were backslidden, you were apostated, you were going wrong. Jesus will take you back up, 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 up. Put you back in the right position. So there is hope for you. We're not putting you down, preacher. So start. Praying with the blood of Jesus constantly. Start believing the blood of Jesus constantly. That will correct you. Amen. Praise the Lord. That boasting tells on you who you belong to. At the heart Jesus 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 there's hope for you. The price is so great. That's why the Holy Spirit is there. <laughs> so believe what Romans chapter 6, verses 3, 4, and 5 says. That's where you are reborn. None that or chitakwe. A quenan that or chish, ow nadiki ain that ow nadato. When you are changed, you you will know you are changed. You will know, you will know, you will know you are changed. There's no more guiltiness. There's no more is it right? Am I right or wrong? Am I going the right way? Am I going to hell? Am I going to heaven? No more of that. You will know, you will know, you will know you are reborn. Romans chapter 6, verse 3, verse 4, verse 5. Epi na. He condemned sin in the flesh. It's easy and all now. What is ya? A body condemned. Not tell ya. So depend on Jesus. He did all that work for you. He didn't do it for himself. He didn't do it for the angels. He didn't do it for heaven. It's for you, Amen. the sinful ones. So on a day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis, you go look to him and to his cross. Get washed in his blood every day. Ask for that washing in his blood every day. Another one, uh, Romans, a little bit backward, 5, verse 8. 
Compare that scripture. 5 verse 8. But God commandeth, demonstrated his love toward us. <laughs> we were the dying ones. We were dead already. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Verse 9, much more than after we got saved, much more than after we got saved, much more than Get it like that. After we got saved, much more than being now already justified by His blood, by His blood, by His blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through Him. The wrath of God. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. That's what He's talking about. When he sees the blood of Jesus in you, judgment is passed over. Amen. Amen. You are his. You are his. Hallelujah. So depend on the blood of Jesus. Justified by his blood. God, God, I got it at the point in the Nagohatashi, get it eighteen. Christ, I done Hadas. Naho in La Hashin, the beginner seal kit go to the seal in every other than a chant, but I will get it eighteen. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. I got Nedi Kadet Hunters Kisgo, but I see much more. Kadot Lansan Link, Kade Yuweko. I I justify and Ilya, but despair. There you go, but despair, but despair. I don't know what they take on Ilya. I got a cut, you walk off. Is that a cut? Why did I have the action? Then Lena, I think it all listen. A Jesus be on a reconcile or exchange. What the exchange, exchange. We gave him our sins. He gave us grace. <laughs> okay, back to Romans 8. Oh, I told you there's a lot of teaching there. <laughs> we're, we're just doing one verse today. <laughs> this segment. <laughs> I'll show a verse. <laughs> So sin is our problem. Verse 4, Sean. Romans 8, verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled. And as not, some people get boasting again, right? They start to flex their, flex their muscles, religious muscles. Quit it. God forbid. Don't even think about it. Whether it sounds like it's us, huh? Mm, it's me. That the righteousness of the law, what the law has? No, dodo. The law just exposes you. You're a sinner. Okay? The right, just read on, read on, see what happens, read on, the way you get the help. High and cut, or what's not seen cut. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, it says. Why us? We're incapable. Why us? Who walk? Do we talk about? Keep in mind, it's the Holy Spirit chapter. Holy Ghost chapter. Okay? Holy Ghost chapter. Romans 8. Holy Ghost chapter is Romans 8. Romans 8. Yeah. Oh, keep in mind, keep, the, keep your focus there. Okay? That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, the worldly way, our own strength, our own abilities, our own know how. But after, after, we're walking after, 
We're walking after, we're walking after the Holy Spirit. Okay? Walking after the Holy Spirit. But that's your Amos 3.3. 3. When you agree, two can two walk together, except they be agreed, it says there. Amos 3.3. 3. You agree with God, okay? Totally. Just says, I, you just say, I am nothing. I am no good. I can't do it. I'm a sinner man. I have a sin nature. God, I agree with you. <laughs> Hold up your Bible and say, God, I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender my intelligence. I surrender my know-how. I surrender. They're all full of sin and defilement. I surrender. I surrender my corruption. I surrender my own mind. I surrender my own talent. I surrender on all of my educational, what I thought was big and valuable. No. My intelligence, I surrender them all. I look to you. I agree with you. I agree with your word. I agree with whatever you say out of your Bible. You start, he'll start walking with you. Because you agree with him. You agree with God, he comes. You agree with God, what the Bible says about the blood of Jesus, you put the blood of Jesus on you, that's, that's you agreeing. Jesus put this on us, and all you are disagreeing with God, okay? You're not disagreeing with this preacher, you're disagreeing with the boss. <laughs> oh, it's just a Londonish charge. I'm yeah, we're just here. I'm yeah, we're just here. And then, shut up, I'm just here to cross it. We're preaching the Bible. We're preaching thus says the Lord. God, and then you, and then you say, what's that? Don't shut up, okay? I'm yeah, we're just here. Ah, come. And yeah, and you, you have ten thousand blames to blame me with. <laughs> well, just have at it. You're not saying it to me, you're saying it to God. You're disagreeing with God. How can you walk with Him when you disagree with Him? Believe His blood. That's why you agree with Him. Believe His blood. Believe in the work of Calvary. That's where you're going to agree with Him. That's where the Holy Ghost, the mighty infilling of the Holy Ghost comes into you. And that Holy Ghost will lead you and teach you and give you right direction and give you clean life, clean living. Amen. Jesus, but this does, but this does go on. Crepe <laughs> Praise the Lord. The baptism in the Holy Spirit should be given to the Holy Spirit. When Jesus, remember, always remember, he was like us. He looked like the sinner ones. So he put himself down. He put his deity, the almighty God, he is aside so he can 
rolled up his sleeve and faced the devil like a little man, little Adam, second Adam. Okay, he got baptized at Jordan River, remember? But John the Baptist, he looks like a dove, he says. Dove, city, double, yeah, yeah. One old little bit, he gets it. Now, yeah, one city, and he has his name. I wonder, be careful, I don't say it's caught. Oh, but it's a business. Nicholas, and he has a business. Nicholas, and he has a quick car, a glass, a bill. Nicholas, and he has a Lazarus. Nicholas, and he has a naked. No. Jesus, when a car. Jesus asks us about Ilya, and the gate out Ilya, and the children in the air, and the car, and the not Ilya, Nisha. Nisha. A good Indian kid, the baptism in the Holy Ghost. As long as you're in the blood, as long as you understand Romans chapter 6, Ajibikit and Togo, reborn, Nandus Chico, and then you ask for the baptism. And you ask for more refilling. And then you ask for more refilling on a day-to-day -day basis. So the dark we change, so she not cut. No shady, no dash when a car on the egg, so she not cut the nigger. Ebe in us, ebe is this, ebe in the Jonah Hoti, ebe in our teeth, ebe the nest that does not. Lives are changed. Lives are changed. That's proof that the Holy Spirit works in the cross. The Nesha Hoda is Nagy, Ebe Ahosan. Be Ahosan. The Nesha Hoda is Nagy. I need you, what's the idea kiss? That's the idea kiss. God, I am the idea kiss. What does it mean? Eight to the guinea bananas, to the guinea, eight, eight or less. Baptism. You that have rejected the baptism, Christian friend, you. You reject the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You think it's of the devil. You say it's of the devil. Well, you are deceived by Satan. You are deceiving yourself even. The baptism in the Holy Ghost is so different. So different from the way the world talks. So different. They were amazed after Jesus was baptized with the Holy Ghost. They were amazed beyond measure, it says. Same way here. When a preacher gives his heart to God and, and, and surrenders everything, and the Holy Ghost is there, the preaching is different. The preaching is powerful. Because it's the work of the Holy Ghost. It's the work of the Holy Ghost. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. So you that reject the cross, Christian friend, you think, all the nice work will do will save the people and make the people to live the right way. You polish it like, well, let's use an example, an old car. You shine it up, you polish it. You put a lot of polish on it, it glitters in the sunlight. And then you sit in it, you take your family in that car, but that car has no gas. You may sit there, polish the thing every day, so glitter, talking about religion, so glitter and so bright. And then you sit in the, at the driver's seat and you may pretend to drive it, the family is with you, you ain't going nowhere because there's no gas. You may do everything to say, we're going to heaven. We're going to do the Lord's work. When actually, you ain't going nowhere. You're just sitting in a dead old antique car, all polished up, shiny, no gas in there, okay? 
No gas whatsoever. Can't move. And then you go pretend like you're driving. You may say, <laughs> but the car ain't going anywhere. That's religion. Church work. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up, my friend. I'm not putting you down. I'm trying to give you an illustration what the Holy Spirit can do. Come on. Come on. There's a better way. There's a better way to live for God. There's a better way to preach the gospel. There's a better way to tell others about the gospel. That's through the power and might of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost baptism is different. It's so different. Holy Ghost baptism, His power. He's your power. It's like you put the gas in that old car and then you start to move. Get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You're moving. You'll be moving. You'll be driving. You'll be moving. You'll be going somewhere to do the Lord's work. That is the power. Similar. Similar to that illustration. The mighty work. The operation of the Holy Ghost. In the cross. Always in the cross. I say in the cross. It's always at the cross. It's always through the cross. It's always through the finished work of Jesus Christ. The mighty work of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's the subject for today. We'll continue in the next segment. Thank you for listening. We hope and pray that you understood more about the work of the Holy Spirit in the cross. Thank you. Amen.